I'm Catherine of Catherine's Perfect Sense and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing with you. I haven't had one of these for a while. Um, I put in an order, got a couple of mini warmers and some waxes. I'm going to be putting together some experience bundles. I'm not going to be doing that in this video. I just wanted to show you the lovely new warmers I got and talk to you about the lovely scents that I ordered the wax bars. So I will start. So. First off, I got a small ceramic warmer. This is the Easter collection, and on this one it says hope and peace. So if I, can, I hope I can get in. <laughs> this is, I don't do test runs. This is a problem, isn't it? I probably should open all the packaging before I start and do a test run, but I never seem to get around to it. Now with this one, I'm not gonna unbox the plug-in section, although I have bought this as a plug-in because I am going to put it in my tabletop because with the ceramic ones you have to tighten a little lug sort of screw in it and I'm not very technical at that sort of thing so I'm just going to pop it onto my tabletop base which you don't need to sort of screw anything up and um, that way you get to see how it looks with the lights on in it. So but this one, I saw it and I thought this was so cute because it just looks like it gives out so much light. And there it is, and it says hope and peace on it. So I don't know if you can see that. Don't know if it's mirrored in this type of video. That's always a problem, isn't it? Is if it's mirrored. So I'm gonna try that on, like I said, I have a tabletop mini so let's take that one off and pop this one on and we're gonna so it's screws on like that there it is and then i'm going to get this and plug it in like i'd be no good on blue pizza would i take forever to do anything right so ready Oh, look at that. I don't, I doubt you can see this at all. Hang on one second, because I don't even think if this will make a difference, to be honest with you. That is super bright. I think I'm going to have to turn off the room light. I can see it really, look. well, you can see it against the wall. Look at that. You can see it all against the wall. How lovely is that? All the little designs there, hope and peace it says on it. I'm not going to turn it off because else I'm going to fall over going to the light switch. Let's get this one back on again. So sorry, backwards and forwards in the bedroom. <laughs> so there we go. So it's off, hope and peace. It's got all the little holes. It gives that lovely glazed dish in the top there you would put your cube in there I only ever put one cube in mini warmers I think that's basically all you need really is one cube um, I suppose it depends how light the scent is you're using I personally wouldn't put more than one in a mini warmer but if it was in like an area that's well ventilated you might want to just to spread the smell a little bit more but that's that one so I will unplug that and the next one I'm going to show you is a glass warmer. So I thought this one was absolutely... I'm going to actually order myself one of these shades because I have got a glass base of my own, which I've got... I have a Christmas one in. I'm still using it. It's in my kitchen. still using the Christmas one. But I thought this was absolutely lovely because I love the colour, I love the design. So I think I'm just going to order myself the shade of one of these to put in my glass base that I've got in the kitchen. It's in a pink colour. I love the colour pink. Well, I'm wearing my princess jumper. So <laughs> as you can see, I like pink. It's lovely. This is called Wispy Willow. And the glass base looks like this it's got a little cup on it you, you can tell the difference between the glass and ceramic sorry I will just show you quickly one has a little cup to hold the unit 
the other one has a little screw so glass face has a little cup I will just muck about with this one oh, it's like this is why I was there. there used to be a show, I think it was called the um, Krypton Factor, where you had to do things, all the crystal modes, you had to do things in a certain amount of time. I don't think I ever would have got through because it takes me so long to do anything. Yay, but I'm in the box, so that's a start. Right. So, you have the mini warmer and the mini bulb. I have mini bulbs in stock, should you need one. The mini pygmy bulbs. They are 2 50 each. If you order via my party link, you would have to pay postage. But because I got them in stock, I can just pop one round to you. Or if you need me to post it, I think postage for me would be a little bit cheaper. So that just goes in there. Top. This is absolutely lovely. This one, I think this will sell pretty quick, to be honest, because it is absolutely gorgeous. I will pop that into there. Again, it's in one of these things where you can move the direction should you if, if you've got dodgy plugs in your house. But hopefully not. Oh wow, oh wow. That is absolutely lovely. Again, I don't think you can see it. I don't think you can see the design on that, but it's giving off a gorgeous pink glow. That is absolutely lovely. Just looks like a really bright light, doesn't it? I know. <laughs> You'll have to buy it to see how lovely it is. But I do love the glass warmers. I think that they give a lovely glow. And I think they just, to me, I just think they warm the wax really nicely. I, it's just what you prefer. I prefer the glass ones. Some people prefer ceramics. Other people prefer a full size warmer, but I think these little plug in ones are absolutely perfect and you can get them to match all decor. I mean, like I said, this one's in a pink colour. Can you come back? There we are. So it's in a pink colour. So this would go like with bedrooms, sitting rooms, hallways. Like it's fairly neutral looking in colour. So if you had like a room with lots of greys, this would fit in, or golds, this would fit in absolutely lovely pinks it would fit in i think pink pretty much goes with everything apart from orangey colors but maybe i'm wrong maybe i don't know send me some pictures see if you've got those sorts of colors but that is absolutely lovely so that is that one done and i will talk you through the waxes that i got just quickly and then we'll be done yeah yeah <laughs> i ordered six waxes but unfortunately i only got five one was out of stock which i suppose is a good thing it just means people are enjoying the waxes uh, i think the one i ordered that was out of stock is called pink promenade pretty sure that's what it's called um so i got these five waxes i'm not going to open them because some of them Obviously, I'll be selling and other ones I'll be, I will be making samples with, but obviously I don't want to be opening every wax bar. So the first one I got was the Island Hopping, which is this lovely blue one, really deep blue. So I've got the little cup. Mm, sniffer pot. So that's a really lovely fresh scent. That's like... It's quite marine smell, like like sea smelling. So it's like like a salty sort of smell. I do like that. I do like that. I probably could do with some descriptions, but I haven't got them. So that's the first one. I'll probably be making some samples out of this one. Just this is <laughs> you, you suddenly become very aware that I'm very colour conscious, but I haven't got any samples in this colour. <laughs> so I think I'll. I might be making some samples out of this just so I've got a lovely dark blue sample, really. <laughs> That's quite sad of me, I know, I know. Um, the second one I've got, I do have a green one sample, but it's not this one. This is green tea and jasmine. As far as I remember, that was a very clean 
fragrance, very floral, but a clean floral. Mmm, yeah. Oh, that is really nice. That... Yeah, you can smell the florals in it. It's almost, I can't smell any fruits. And you would think with the green tea that would give you sort of, not so much a fruit, but it would give you a different fragrance to a floral. But all I can think is maybe green tea is quite aromatic. Do not know. I don't drink it. Maybe I should try. It's probably good for me. That is absolutely lovely. That is really, really florally, but it's a nice crisp floral. So that's a really, I don't know. That's sort of one of those ones. Whereas if you opened your front door and people smelled that, that would be a lovely fragrance to have in your home. So the next one I got is Make a Splash. I have done samples in this one already. This is one of my favourites from the new s selection of scents, this catalogue. Uh, I think there were 10 new ones. This was one of my favourites. I actually think it gives off a very clean fragrance. It's almost got... It's, it's a weird one to me, to my nose. It's almost like a freshly painted smell, but it's not freshly painted. It is, again, it's like bleached, some bleached driftwood and like ocean scents again but I do like that that is one of my favorites so like I said I have made samples of it I've bought another one um I've been using it myself I'm literally down to two cubes I'm down to virtually none left of that so I might be stealing it for myself possibly who knows um Hawaiian hula I've not had that one nice color I have other pink ones I just it's I get very much on the colors of things I don't know why but as you can see I've already got some sort of like similar colors there um that's this month's scent of the no it's not it's next month's scent of the month that is the plumeria peach so I have made those up they're gone out but this is um Hawaiian hula let me have a sniff see I can't remember what this one smelled like Oh, it's fruit, fruity, but it's quite a quite a light fruit actually. It's not overpowering. Yeah, I don't know which fruit that would be. You see, I keep going to say pineapple, but it, I don't know. I mean, possibly pineapple. It's, I don't know. It's, it's got a very light fruity fruity scent to it, but um not very good with fruits but yeah I would say pineapple that one with the peach it's not like that that's quite a strong scent this one's very light it's really really quite pleasant um it's got like a fresh water like watery sort of like scent about like watermelon it's might have watermelon in it maybe that's where I'm getting it from possibly Hawaiian hula, that is a really, really nice one. Like I said, probably won't be making that into samples, but I've got one in stock. And my last one isn't a new one. It's new to me, isn't a new one. This one's called Blue Grotto. I don't know what Blue Grotto. It smells like sherbet. <laughs> That's what Blue Grotto smells like. That is fresh, that is sparkling. That is, it's fruity. That's seriously fresh, fruity, sparkling. It's really, really nice. Like a sherbet, I do like that. So that is not what I was expecting, really. I was expecting it to be more like, um, I don't know, just a fresher smell, like laundry products and stuff like that. I didn't expect it to be so fruity, but it is. It's really quite nice. That's a spark, like a sparkling fragrance. And the last one I ordered, like I said, was Pink Promenade. Didn't come. Um, I only ordered this one because it said it had, uh, I think it was Prosecco. Had the scent of Prosecco in it. I don't know. I don't know what Prosecco smells like. I don't really drink it. It said it had the scent of gin. We'd be okay. I'd be like, ah, I know what gin smells like. I mean, it's, it's a pleasant smell. It's smells clean that's yeah but um it never came but it will come it's just at the moment it's on back order so it will come 
I won't talk you through it. Again, it will be a full size bar, eight cubes. Um, will I be making it into samples? I doubt it. I might, but you know, I'm trying to do samples with what's new and the scent of the month just to keep you all updated with what kind of things are in this year. Um, that is basically all I'm doing today. So I'm going to let you all go. I'm going to pack all these things away in boxes. I will probably start bagging them up into experience bundles. Although if you like the look of any of these mini warmers and you would like to buy one, please just give me a shout and I will let you know how much they are. I mean, they're, they're catalogue price. I mean, they're, they're £24 each. Obviously in the experience bundle, the price is different. A little bit but um yeah 24 pounds each um the wax bars are 725 each so that's basically all i've got for you today um like i said i'm gonna pack it all away now i'm gonna get my husband to edit this video because he's very kind of like that i've told him to look for some music for me um hopefully he'll edit me leaping about the bedroom turning lights on and off or maybe he won't i don't know <laughs> um so that's all. I will let you all get on. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the products and it was great catching up. And I will chat to you all again very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.